Hey, what up, boys? So, instead of following this month's live stream up with some feedback and my impressions, I thought I'd throw all that aside and talk about the reveal that we all actually cared about. Alpha 2 arriving in 2024. Finally, an actual definitive timeline to expect this highly anticipated testing period. I've attempted to make many, many videos trying to tackle this question using various pieces of evidence, but no longer! Now, half my clickbait has been stolen from me, but that doesn't matter anymore because we're live pretty much every day over at twitch.tv forward slash Nargiverse to discuss all things Ashes of Creation. And hey, we're currently playing the New World expansion to see if it's still garbage. Spoiler, yes it is. But before... Before we get into that, our beautiful patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs and I would love for you to... I don't know where it's gone, I've lost it. But grab yourself a... Go fuck Yola, because today I want to do one final video predicting the time frame for Alpha 2 using all the currently gathered evidence up until this date. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So I think I'll start today's video talking about Quarter 4, because I suspect a majority of people are expecting Quarter 4 as either a defense mechanism to protect themselves from disappointment, or because it's a funny meme to say it's December 31st. But I don't actually think it's currently planned for Quarter 4, and allow me to explain why. Back some months before Alpha 1, Steven gave us a date for its official launch. Everyone was pogging out the Wazoo and some people, including myself, booked multiple weeks off work in anticipation for it. However, due to some unforeseen circumstances, aka Alpha being an Alpha, the team ran into some pretty heavy problems due to networking and had to delay the Alpha by a month or two. This threw everyone off immediately due to the sensitive nature of Kickstarter MMORPG scams and to this day Intrepid are still feeling the sting of distrust when it comes to dates. Well, it's been two years since then, and Steven has said on multiple occasions that he has learned from his mistake back in 2020 about giving definitive dates, and this is something they've promised not to do anymore. And that's where Quarter 4 comes in. The reason why I do not believe Quarter 4 is the current internal plan is because of unforeseen circumstances. If they really did have an internal roadmap that would set the Alpha 2 up for a Quarter 4 release, there would be far too much risk of some unforeseen problems pushing it beyond the already announced 2024 release. If you think Intrepid are willing to risk another date pushback after spending years telling us that they won't, then you, sir, haven't been sucking in enough of the copium, and I suggest you increase your daily dose by at least 30%. Now, the safe bet would be for me to, of course, say, Well, I think it'll be some time in quarter two or quarter three. But you know what? Let's not jump the gun here. Let's stop and think about this for a moment and really consider what we've seen and what we're yet to see when it comes to the core systems available in Alpha 2. Aside from the fact that we have absolutely zero definitive knowledge of what we're going to get in Alpha 2, the only thing we've got to go off is the monthly livestream showcases. As much as people seem to think that they are, the monthly streams are not showcases to sell the game. These are important systems that the team are looking for feedback on specifically. Therefore, what we see isn't technically indicative of what they have finished. Not even close. And that may sound like copium, sure, it probably is on some level, but with them publicly giving us a year the Alpha 2 is planned, it very likely means that they're confident with the current state of their Alpha 2 client. There are some minor bugs that we see during the streams that appear to be networking related, but that's perfectly okay. Alpha is an alpha after all, and ultimately Alpha 2 is a testing period to hone in on some of these issues. So what does this mean for a date then? Well, as I said, quarter two or quarter three would be a safe bet for today's video. A lukewarm take that would warrant Asmongold level IQ, but I actually think that Alpha 2 is currently planned, internally at least, for quarter one. And it's not because I have insider information that confirms it. No, 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 no. It's because what I see currently during the live streams is a very playable game with a gameplay loop that is perfect for us to test those core systems. It's just missing one thing. Content. 
Back during the recent official Q&A, Steven spoke extensively about what is holding them back currently for the Alpha 2. So as we kind of accomplish setting up each of these zones incrementally, you know, different parts of the team come and touch the zones at, at different points in the pipeline. So first, you environment kind of gets in there and they set up the terrain and kind of the block out for all of the level design across that particular zone uh, in conjunction with the design level design team. And then once those kind of areas are, are set up and the POIs get blocked out, uh, that's when, you know, narrative teams start uh, <clears throat> assigning quest locations, quest markers, um, and setting those up while nodes is kind of setting up the, the base node node areas as well. It's the goddamn content that fills the world. With the three main pieces of content delivery now publicly shown to us, that being the questing UIs, the story arcs, and the event system, now it's just a case of taking our feedback for those systems and then implementing the plethora of content that they have planned. Ashes of Creation has always been a game that is built through a modular system, and it's the creation of these systems that we've been witnessing over the last 12 to 18 or so months. This month, it confirms that the final piece of the puzzle is done. And with Intrepid hiring Elder Scrolls' former lead writer, Wayne McLaughlin, over two years ago, I suspect that they've got the majority of these quests and this content finished and ready to implement. The team constantly talk about milestones and sprints being completed left, right and centre, and I suspect the final milestone leading into Alpha 2 is the implementation of all the currently planned content. Sure, we still need to see the Rogue in a live stream, we still need to see the Bard, and we still have a couple of other important systems like the Caravans coming up soon, but aside from these three, everything else is pretty much ready for the Alpha 2. The Desert trailer back in 2022 confirms that they have multiple biomes finished, and the talk about them moving into the Redwood Forest in December last year, a biome that is apparently not going to be available at the launch of the Alpha 2, is a pretty solid indicator that the team are satisfied with the state of their Alpha 2 locations, and that was well over 10 months ago. I could go on forever about how much of the hard work is already finished by showing you hundreds of 3D models that they've already created to flesh out various points of interest, dungeons, nodes, and enemy factions. But I've done that pretty thoroughly in this video up here in the top corner. But there is one final cherry on top that I want to conclude today's video on, and that's the date that they chose to end the Alpha 2 key packs with. Stephen gave us a pretty interesting speech about how they're going to handle the upcoming date announcements, and I'll relay his speech for you before I continue my copium-induced predictions. As you guys know, we have reserved our announcement for dates until we are certain that we can hit them. We've, we've been burned in the past with that. We took our licking, we learned. Like, and no we more dates, Stephen, until correct. it's happening. Yes, I, I've been a good boy. And so as we grow closer to Alpha 2, we will give a definitive date. Um, the next time you hear from us about when Alpha 2 is going to be, it's probably going to be delegated to a particular quarter. And then when we're probably a few months away, we will have the date in mind. But for now... With this in mind, I think it is no coincidence that December to January 17th just so happened to be the final period that we can purchase a key in. Last year, Intrepid disappointed us a little with a year in review that we were not expecting due to the previous year's livestream being the amazing Unreal Engine 5 reveal. This year, we have an extremely important date lining up with their end of year stream, so I'm expecting something a little bit more than just an end of year review. The upcoming December livestream will be Intrepid's last chance to show the public what Ashes of Creation is capable of before the access to the launch of the Alpha 2 closes for good. I think they're fully aware of this and have been planning this out for a very long time. This is why they're giving our showcases focused on feedback not showboating because they know their product is good. We can see it with our own eyes. Ashes of Creation is looking better and better as the months go by. And I, for one, think the Alpha 2 is coming much sooner than we expect. But as usual, <laughs> I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO. And my opinion means nothing without yours in the comments below. And hey, I will probably be eating my own words come January, and we still have no quarter announcement, but I still stand by my statements. I am confident they've got an internal quarter one plan with the leeway 
to push back to quarter two in case any kind of networking issues arise similar to alpha one <laughs> but surely that won't push it back to quarter three or even quarter four right anyway as always i want to thank my beautiful patrons and i even want to thank these idiots over here because they sit around watching a guy go live and talk about a game that quite literally doesn't exist because they're high on copium.